The Night Parade by Katherine Tankery. This is a beautifully told fantasy story about a girl who finds herself caught up in Japanese legends come to life. You see, the last thing Saki Yamamoto wanted to do on her summer vacation was leave exciting, fun Tokyo and go to her grandmother's old mountain village. You know, stupid old rituals, no cell reception, great. She's there now, it's Oban ceremony. That's where you have to, you know, weed and wash and scrub down all your ancestors' graves. Boring, not here for it. But while she's scrubbing, a bunch of local kids see her and they start talking. And they say, we know what's really cool. And she said, what? Come here at night after dark and we dare you to ring the temple bell. Nothing bad will happen, the curse isn't real. And eventually, even though Saki knows better, she says, fine, I'll meet you. The kids are late. It's dark and Saki's in the shrine. Eventually they come and they dare her again, ring the bell. She goes up to the shrine and rings the bell. Nothing bad will happen. Something happens. Turns out the darkness has shifted and Saki has called down a death curse and evoked on her family. She has only three nights to undo it because the night parade has begun. It's the biggest celebration of the year. Hundreds of spirits travel from near and far to go to the shrine at the mountaintop. And with the help of three spirit guides, Saki has all sorts of adventures. Funny, scary, dangerous, and disgusting. But she must prove her worth or say goodbye to the land of the living forever. So if you want a fun scary to read after dark about Japanese legends and spirits, try The Night Parade.